COVID vaccine sites are opening here in Kern County. The state-run clinics in Arvin, Rosamond, and Wasco held a soft opening today. Elizabeth Christian is here to explain why getting the vaccine to smaller communities is so important. Elizabeth. Erin Rochelle, the push to get the vaccine into the arms of people in eligible tiers just got a little more convenient. I spoke to county officials about the impact this will make on the goal of herd immunity. It is thrilling that these state-run sites have had their soft launch today in Roseman and Wasco and Arvin because those residents who often may lack transportation or for whatever reason don't want to leave their community to have to be vaccinated. It is vitally important to bring this vaccine to our residents where they live and work. Rural areas in Kern County now have the opportunity to get vaccinated closer to home. Mayor Alex Garcia of Wasco is excited for his city as he stands outside the vaccination clinic. It's so important for rural communities, small farm working communities like ours who have been uh, really impacted by this pandemic. Making the vaccine easily accessible is getting one step closer to some normalcy. The federal government identified a census track right here in Wasco that identified uh, a deficit in COVID tests. Um, and so we are um, doing as much as possible to be proactive and getting uh, the vaccine to some of the most vulnerable residents in our in our community, and that includes farm workers, health and safety workers, educators, emergency workers, and beyond. The goal is to continue partnerships through current public health and communities for outreach and ultimately herd immunity with more and more people getting the COVID-19 vaccine. We will continue to try to get vaccine to all the corners and beautiful communities that make Kern County. If you are eligible to get your vaccine, you can make an appointment on myturn.ca.gov. We will have that link along with exact locations and times of the new vaccination sites on our website, bakersfieldnow.com. In studio tonight, Elizabeth Christian, Eyewitness News. Is there a story you think we should investigate? Call our Eyewitness News tip line at 869-2929.